This demo will show you how to set up Artifactory as a Docker registry and start using it in less than one minute. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository manager. It fully supports software packages created by any language or technology. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. Artifactory can be easily used as a Docker registry, either as a SaaS service simply installed and set up using Docker Compose or configured on an existing Artifactory server. For this screencast, we will demonstrate the one-minute setup with Docker Compose. Let's copy the install command that will spin off the Artifactory Docker containers. You can browse our detailed user guide for further instructions on the setup process. Let's switch to the terminal and start the installation. And go! The install command runs a compose that pulls containers for Artifactory, Nginx, and Postgres from JFrog Bintray, the universal distribution platform. It pre-configures all the required settings with defaults to have your Docker registry up and running. After downloading all the container layers, we're all set. Let's open our browser to the Artifactory homepage. When first launched, the Artifactory setup wizard will pop up. This wizard will easily walk us through the setup process. The first step is to provide a license key. Simply paste it here. This can be either a trial or your permanent license. We will skip the password change and keep the original one. We will also skip the proxy configuration, which is used for advanced intranet configuration and can be revised later on if necessary. Now we can choose which types of repositories we'd like to set up. As a universal repository manager, Artifactory supports a great list of technologies out of the box. We will choose Docker. And done! Artifactory can be used as a local proxy for Docker registries. It can also host and serve Docker images which are directly pushed to Artifactory. The setup wizard creates three Docker repositories in Artifactory. A local repository called Docker Local, where you can deploy and serve your own Docker images. A remote repository called Docker Remote, which is a caching proxy for Docker Hub and serves as a proxy for other Docker registries. And finally, a virtual repository called Docker, which aggregates the other two repositories, allowing you to work with a single access point to all your required containers. You can, of course, modify these or create additional Docker repositories later on using the repositories administration pages. Now it's time to configure the Docker client to work with Artifactory. Let's start working with Artifactory by pulling an image from Docker Hub via the Artifactory remote repository. In order for the Docker client to be familiar with the Artifactory server and its Docker virtual repo that we just set up, we will define its domain name in our local hosts file. In a production installation, this configuration is done on the network DNS. Now, since the Artifactory default installation uses a self-signed certificate, we need to configure our Docker client to work with an insecure registry. For that, we'll define the following Docker ops to our etc default Docker file. If it doesn't exist, just create it. Let's log in to Docker using the default admin and password credentials. OK, we successfully logged in. Now we can pull a sample image such as Nginx from Docker Hub via Artifactory. Here it is. Listing the images shows our newly downloaded image. Note that it was re-tagged on the fly because it was actually downloaded from Artifactory and not directly from Docker Hub. We can see the image in the Docker Remote Cache repository in Artifactory as well, and we can also see the Docker Info. Now let's push an image to our local repository. 
First, let's pull a sample Hello World image. Now we'll log into our registry using the Docker login command. And we'll tag the Hello World image to the new Docker Artifactory repository with a new 2.0 tag. We can see that the images list reflects the fact that the image has two tags now. Now let's push the image. Looks good. Let's check whether the image is in Artifactory as we expect it to be. Here is the newly tagged image in our local Docker repository. This concludes our Docker registry setup screencast. You can use Artifactory to work with any build technology like Maven, Gradle, Ivy, Conan, and Ant and manage your artifacts for all your technologies. Just to name a few, Java, Docker, Debian, Nougat, RubyGems, NPM, and many more. Artifactory also offers tight integrations with Jenkins, Hudson, TeamCity, Bamboo, and any other CI server. This concludes our introductory Artifactory setup. You are welcome to visit our user guide to discover more features and our YouTube channel for additional screencasts.